Hey everyone, it is day one, because yesterday was zero, <laughs> of recovering my garden from Hurricane Milton. Today I'm going to be working on the caterpillars and hopefully the Maypop Mansion. I think I have an idea of how to get the mansion support crop cage out with maintaining as much of the Maypop as I can. But we'll get to that later. Right now, my husband is out there working on that huge, well, not huge, but that big um, branch that fell back in my work area. And so he's going to have the power tools going and everything. So I'm going to be hanging out in the garden room, moving the caterpillars back out right now. And there's a few things I want to show you because, you know, when you have to take everything down, when you put it back together again, you get ideas of ways to do things a little bit different. And that's the fun part of all this. And that's where my focus is. This window right here, I love it open. The lepidarium was right there and it went all the way to the top. So how I have it in my office yoga room, Christmas decoration storage room, <laughs> I have it long ways. If I put it long ways there, it's only going to go like up to here and I will still have the top half of my window and it will give me a lot more space to put, just spread out the cuttings a little more. So I'm going to get started and then I'll just pop in with little updates. Oh y'all, I'm up in the potting tree house because my husband wanted to show me something. He's right here behind me. Um, but look, like the whole, this branch that fell, it just took out more of the potting tree house. I told my husband, we could put in stairs to go down there so I can go in and out from both sides. That's me. <laughs> I think that'd be cool though. All right, I'm going to go get back to the garden room where I'm working. You know, while I'm up here, I'm going to give you all a look. There's the main pot mansion, <laughs> the view from the tree house. Oh, you guys, I still haven't made it back in. Look at my elephant ear. Like, it's all... <laughs> well, there. It's that. It's so interesting how it's that. But look at my split leaf. Man, those leaves, they held together. But this will put up... It already is. Look, right in here. See that? That's a new leaf coming out. Yay, elephant ear. We're going to be back in action. You guys, look who's here. I think this is one of mine. Don't leave, baby. Oh, well, you can go lay eggs. Oh, please lay eggs. How beautiful. I'm sure that's one of mine. All right, I'm going back to work. Just had to pop in and share that with you. I have to show you though, with the good, there is bad. It's not all happiness and sunshine. I'm finding dead little babies also. I'm just gonna lay you right in there. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have caught you before. Okay, you guys, I've got an issue. Now, I have built up my whole shelving system with the weirdest mishmash of stuff that has worked. Because <laughs> you've seen me out here working. But my problem right now is... There's two levels here where I want to lay the lepidarium across and that's because underneath here is a hot mess of my mad engineering skills. You can see that back shelf is held up by a chunk of wood and a paver 
and then there's some containers here that are holding up the front part which is literally just this real thin um i don't even what do you call this stuff that that is that stuff that's bendy and then there's like milk crates there's some random um, wood shelves back there that support all this i think i'm going to take all of that out i think we're going to take all of that out and then put my wood outdoor work table up in that spot because this thing would be perfect to set that lepidarium on sideways and it's also thinner so that's what I'm gonna go for because like times like these are the best times to tear things apart I don't even know if I'm gonna get to the Maypop mansion today all right, I got everything off the top, so I'm just going to start taking it apart layer by layer. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know if there's anything in these. I'm, oh, good, they're light. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope they're empty because I... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to have to... Let's see. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. All right, not so bad. Not so bad. This... Have I shown you this recently? This is my purse that I take with me places when I'm going to be out and about where I might come across a caterpillar. It's my little caterpillar collecting purse. <laughs> Gotta have one of those. Okay, reporting in. This is turning out to be a job. The table that I want to put here, here for the lepidarium is like this much wider than the space I had. Now, let me tell you something. I didn't measure because I'm an eyeballer. Mm -hmm. I'm not a measurer, I'm an eyeballer. And you might be chuckling right now because you might be a measurer, but let me tell you this. Had I measured it, I would have said, oh, that won't fit, and I would have not done it. But, because I'm not a measurer, I got so much done that I'm like, oh no, we're making it work. Mm -hmm. And I'm making it work. Let me show you. I'm taking this piece right here that holds our, our tools. This is like one of those wine bottle holder things I got at a thrift shop for like, uh, I wanna say it was like $7. It's a big one. I'm gonna take this whole thing and, and turn it this way so it'll be flush up against this little plant holder bench right here. And then I'll have plenty of room for my table. Okay, this is where I am. I got the table up. I'm gonna put something down there for storage. I put this white shelf back in there and uh, I think that's going to work out great. I just have to figure out what I'm going to put under there, but I will find something. And I'm going to go grab... Well, first, I've got to take all the caterpillars out in my office yoga room slash Christmas storage room. <laughs> and then I'll bring the empty lepidary mount. I'm going to put that new one here long ways. So next time you see this, it'll be there. It's here. And turning that table to the side, not a big deal at all. It all fits. And first guys moving in are going to be the giants because <laughs> look who's here. He's just making sure he gets to stay in the new lepidarium because he's just going to pupate right there. <laughs> so I'm going to go get the rest of them and bring them in. I just went out and got a fresh cutting and look who's also here on the side this is one of the floral tubes from uh in the house and he decided he was going to pupate there lots of giant swallowtails rescued and then we have this little guy who's wandering right here i'm just going to go ahead and move him onto that fresh cutting Come here, booger. 
everybody. You want to say hi to everybody? Say, I had a hurricane party in the lepidarium. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay. Okay, mister, let's put you up here. You get to be the first one on the new plant. Uh-huh. Says, oh yeah, I'm down with that. Go ahead, climb on. Are you on? Are you secure, sir? Here, let's put your little head up there. No, you want your head down there? Okay. Are you? I think you're on. You're on. Woohoo! Look at these guys. They all moved on to one plant. They literally ate everything in the lepidarium. And they're all here together. So I'm just going to put this cutting in so that it leans up against the new one. And then they can just transfer. Whenever they want. Up next is going to be this little guy. He's my only sulfur left. All the other ones had pupated. There's actually one that he closed in the other lepidarium. I just saw. So I got him a fresh cutting. He's going to go down on the end with the uh, giants. I can spread them out so nicely now that. And I'm just going to. This is a little stem he was on. I'm just going to set this up in here, and then he can just climb on to his new plant. I love that my table is longer, so I have that little workspace. It's just enough to set the floral tubes and work with the cuttings before transferring them into the lepidarium. This is, this is going to be awesome, y'all. I, I love it. Up next are the Atala caterpillars on their kunti stems there's just one on this stem but like these guys are all hanging out over here and i have another stem i think it has a couple on it up next is adorableness Polydoma swallowtail caterpillars. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. On Wooly Dutchman's pipe vine. I still have two more pots in that I'm going to bring out. I just wanted to show you these guys real quick. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love them. There is another one hiding down here under this leaf. Hello. Oh my goodness, I love them. And lastly, these are uh, pastel floor incense cuttings. And there are some zebra long wings and some I believe there's some golf fritillaries on here too. I took a lot. I had a lot, y'all. I had a lot. I took a lot of them out and put them back with the Maypop so they can grow out there and naturally repopulate. But I know I, know I saw some golf fritillaries in here. I just have been messing with them so much. Oh, there's, there's one. The little one right there. So there's a few of those guys in here. And then that's everybody. Oh wait, no, cause I've got monarchs and uh, queens in on my vanity. I might keep them there a little longer. I kind of enjoy their company. And I'm in there getting ready in the mornings. Have my little caterpillars close by. I love this new setup. Here I am making some seriously delicious lemonade out of the giant lemons that have been thrown at my garden. 
So a few butterflies eclosed in the Lepidarium overnight and I released them all, but this one was not quite ready to fly. So I just set it here on the porter weed. Look how gorgeous. This is an orange barred sulfur. One of the sulfurs I brought in is just perfect. Well, everybody, it is almost four o'clock, and I haven't even started the Maypop Mansion. So, as you can imagine, that's just going to have to happen in another video. Let's just go take a quick walk through the garden. <laughs> I'm going to play. <laughs> Ringo wants to play. Ray's like, no, not not right now, not right now. <laughs> um. Every time I walk through here, let me, whoa, now there they go. <laughs> Every time I walk through here, I'm just overwhelmed and kind of like, oh my gosh, look how much there is to do. But you know what? I love doing this stuff and I'm retired. So I have the time. So I'm going to find the joy in it and I'm going to enjoy it. Look, I already fixed up a lot of my wildflower garden. Mostly the stakes were just blown sideways. And once I stood them back up, the plants were still well attached. And they're all just kind of upright again. One of my, when that tree branch that fell here, my husband's already trimmed. I mean, literally it fell right here. It didn't get my wildflowers, um, but one of my, um, what do you call these things in <laughs> trellis, it, it, it landed on, so it's bent. I'm not sure it can be saved. I think I mentioned that already. I think I mentioned all this already, but, you know, it can't hurt for you to hear it again because it's just you and me hanging out in my garden as if you are here. There is a beautiful golf fritillary right over here. I mean, it looks fresh. Like, did you just eat close today, mister? Oh my goodness, you're beautiful. Everything still has the kind of lean. <laughs> and y'all know you want to see see the Maypot Mansion again. It looks like a little tent now, doesn't it? <laughs> I could probably cut up the <laughs> the front of it and just let it be a little tent. Like I could like just cut this up. I'm not going to do that, but <laughs> I still have to get in there. Y'all, y'all want to go in? You can go in. I can't, but you can. This is what it looks like on the inside. I gotta go in there and get like all the pots and stuff out and all the um, shepherd's hooks. And there's some trellises in there too. And then, I don't know, I'm just gonna try and pull, pull, I'm gonna try and pull the rug out from under all of the Maypop. That's my thought right now as to how I'm gonna do this and save all this Maypop. I was hoping to see more butterflies, but I don't. Just cute puppies. Oh, yeah, there's a little skipper right there, long-tailed skipper. So you can see how exposed the treehouse is. And, of course, the sun's behind the cloud right now, but there's a lot more light. Oh, look, it's all, it's all leaning that way. But this is going to get all sun now, so I could, like, put my pentas that I'm growing up there to um, get some good sun. So that, that might be a future thing.
You can tell my husband, who's doing a fabulous job taking all this down, you can tell he's an auditor because he's got like his organized piles of different types of things. And it's like a spreadsheet for hurricane debris. Isn't that fabulous? He's fabulous. Look at this cute little pile right here too. It's adorable. I just hung my hanging basket back up. I have seen a little um, white peacock flying around today and I didn't bring any of those in. So that one, that one survived. This is right outside my garden room door and all these plants I took in to the garden room uh, for during the storm. And, and I just wanna show you a couple couple adorable things there's three babies on this one little plant <laughs> so I will definitely move them so after seeing that cuteness of those little monarch survivors I think we'll wrap this video up right here Thank you for watching and guess what? It's Friday. I'm gonna edit this tonight and get it up tomorrow, a Saturday morning video. When have we done that? Well, we probably will more often because I'm just gonna throw the videos out there whenever they're ready. Uh, you know, why sit and hold on to something that's done just to wait for a certain day? That's ridiculous. So tap the like button and I'll see you in my next video and we're going to get this garden whipped into shape and for now I'm done for the day. It's time for dinner. Chips and salsa. <laughs> Oop, one more thing. My hummingbird has been back in the garden. It's back there fluttering around right now. You probably can't see it, I don't, I don't know, but I just wanted to share that. That is some exciting news. Now I'm gonna go eat my chips and salsa.